So what we're looking at today is we'll be looking at the different sensors that are built into the BBC Microbit. So there are three main sensors we'll look at today. That's the temperature sensor, the compass sensor, and the accelerometer. So the first one we'll look at is the actual temperature sensor. So as you can see on the screen here, we've got um, a just very simple program that's gonna read the temperature of the CPU in the Microbit. So something to keep in mind is that the actual temperature sensor isn't measuring the ambient temperature at uh, temperature the temperature in your room is actually just measuring the temperature of the actual micro bit cpu so if you imagine it's going to be about one to two degrees out of what actually is in your room where you are so all we've got here <clears throat> is we are starting the program by importing the micro bit library which will then import all the different commands that are pre-built into the library which we can use for the actual micro bit and then we've got a forever loop which is the while true and that will just keep running and running and running until we stop it and then here on line four which is indented which is important uh, is display that scroll string temperature so we're going to convert the temperature reading which it comes in this part here and convert it to a string so we can output it to the display otherwise it will be an integer and it'll be a number and we want it to be displayed as a string then the line below is display scroll and then it'd be Celsius. Okay, so if we flash this to our micro bit, uh, and then we'll be able to see what it does. So it's going to read the actual temperature on the CPU at the moment, not the actual room. Keep that in mind. So at the moment it's 25 degrees Celsius. Um, and that's just a simple way of using the temperature sensor. So if I touch the CPU on the back of the micro bit, which is this little uh, black chip here and this is the cpu on the micro bit so if i hold this it should in theory go up so if i just keep my finger on it for a few seconds so 26 at the moment hopefully it will rise to 27 at least 27 yep yeah. as you can see just by holding my finger on it i've raised the temperature of the micro bit by adding heat to the cpu so that's the first sensor. Um, so obviously you could look at making a program that uses the temperature sensor as well. Uh, but the second one we're gonna look at is the actual compass. So once again, all you need to do is import the library in order to use the commands. And then we've got a, a while loop again, which is just a forever loop, which will keep going and going until we stop it. And then we've got display.scroll facing. Um, and then we've got this percentage sign in S. And what that does, this is gonna read in the compass heading uh, and then put it into the string. So this um, this percentage sign is gonna be replaced by this reading from the actual sensor. Okay, so if I then flash that to the micro bit. So one thing, if you haven't used the compass before and it's not calibrated, it, it will ask you to calibrate it and that's where you move it around in order to set its bearings okay um, one other thing to keep in mind is that if you're near to any uh, magnets or maybe you've got a metal desk it might interfere with the calibration of the compass as well so as you can see it's asking me to calibrate it at the moment so all you need to do is pick it up move it around until all those dots are filled in so you'll know you filled them in because the leds will light up on your screen so just keep moving them around until they're all turned so you might have to turn your micro bit around as well and then we're calibrated now so so I've got one more calibration to do so it's asking me to tilt and spin so hopefully I'll be able to fill it in. Just got one last one to do. As you can see, it can be quite difficult to get that last one. There we go. So now we are, we should be calibrated now and we should be able to read uh, and use the actual scroll so at the moment it should be telling us where we're facing 
So it says facing, if you can read that, we are facing Thirty-four, three hundred forty-one. Okay, and that's our that's our measurement from the actual compass. So if I turn it, hope you can still see that. Just about, and then we are three one four now. Okay, so that's the compass. That's the compass heading. Um, c compass sensor that's built into it as well. So. You can have a play around with that, so you could use that as a a portable compass if you use the battery pack as well um, to give you a reading. But that's just that. That's just an insight into using that. Uh, and the next one we're going to use is the accelerometer, which we used in a previous episode uh, when we used it to shake and randomise for the fortune cookie. Um, so just same again. So we're going to import the micro bit, uh, while true, and accelerometer gesture. So these gestures basically is what the accelerometer reads so we've got shake which as the name suggests is if you sh if you shook it it's then going to display a surprised image if we have image uh, is gesture 8g that is where if you dropped it really fast uh, or you shook it really fast it's then going to measure that as something that exceeds eight times gravity so you'd have to drop it from quite a height in order to do that um, and then we do image.target will be displayed on the screen then we've got face up so if we face our micro bit up it's then going to be displaying the image happy if we have the micro bit face down uh, they'll be angry and if it's free fall is where we drop it and it's fallen it will then go to a sad face and if we tilt our micro bit to the left it's going to be the arrow w pointing to the west and if it gets tilted right we're going to have the east arrow pointed as well so if we give that a flash to our micro bit and then I'll show you through how each what each one does and hopefully you can visualize what it's doing. So at the moment we've got face up, which is uh, where are we face up? So at the moment it's doing this one here and we can see that. So if I if I put it face down, I'm not sure you can see that, but as you can see, if I turn it around. Should be able to see it's gone face down. <coughs> so that's the face down one. Uh, if we go to uh, tilt it to the left, so you can see the arrow goes left. And if we tilt it to the right, the arrow goes to the right. Okay, the free fall one. Um, let me see if I can do the free fall one, which is this one here. So if I drop it, you can see, as I drop it, the face goes to the side. So you have to be careful. So if I shake it, which is our top one here, you can see it goes to the surprise face. There you go. So that's the that's using the accelerometer. So there is something else we can use the accelerometer, and that's excellent to our fourth program, and this is where we can actually read actual bits of data from the micro bit. So the accelerometer is made up of three axes. You've got an X, a Y, and a Z. And these give the micro bit a three dimensional measurement, and these measurements are measured in mega gravities. So, what we can do is we can have a program which then displays the x, the y, and the z readings from the actual uh, micro bit. And as you tilt it and move it around, the x and the y, the x, y, and the z axis will change and give you a different reading on your micro bit. So, if I flash this program. Uh, wait there. So just to give you an insight in here, so this X, this X line here is reading from the X axis and then it's going to display it. So whatever the reading is will be then inserted after the X and the reading will go in where this percentage sign is. And then the same for the Y here. So we're going to read the Y axis and then place it into the display after the Y and then the Z as well. So when the Z is read, it will be placed into here. So we're going to have X, Y, and then Z displayed on our micro bit screen. So if I flash that to the micro bit, we can then have a look about how that works as well.
So as you can see, it's displaying the X and the Y axis on the screen at the moment. So each one has a reading. So now if I tilt the micro bit to the left, our X axis reading should go down. So we are on minus 880, 800, minus 800. Uh, our Y is on 14, 144, and our Z is on minus 592. Okay, if I if I tilt it to the right, our, our X axis should switch uh, and actually increase in its value. So X is now 816. Okay, if I if I tilt it the top towards me, the x axis, the y axis will actually um, increase, decrease, and if I tilt it away, it will then increase. Okay, and the same for the z axis. So if I lift it up, so if I put it down on the put it down on the desk at the moment, so just get the reading for the z. So the z is currently. When we get there, Z is missed that one. So Z was minus nine nine two. And if we bring it towards us, hopefully if we can focus on that. So now the Z should have increased as we got closer to the camera. So just get round to the Z. Waiting is, and as you can see, we got nine minus ninety-seven, nine hundred seventy-four. Okay. <coughs> so, hope that's been useful to show you how the temp sensor works, the compass sensor works, the accelerometer works, and how we can use the three different axes to um, take measurements and raw data. So, in the next. Uh, episode we'll look at making some apps using these different uh, sensors uh, and try and build up our knowledge and skills using the microbit hope that's been useful